Alrighty guys, how's it going? Daybreaker Rain here, coming back with yet another episode of Castlevania Circle of the Moon. It's been a minute, I know. Um, I accidentally, you know, I was <laughs> convincing myself I needed to record and so on and so forth, but I uh, didn't get around to it, unfortunately. But we're right back at, with episode 5, going to the boss that we were at. Um, Hugh, you okay? You, back off. This is my trophy to claim. Erg, Hugh. Okay, I remember uh, this boss isn't so bad on uh, vampire killer mode. It's just he's a freaking big pain in the rear on the other modes. Uh, just because of all the stupid attacks and crap you can do. Those bubbles are poison. I don't know if I'm necessarily doing the best job here. If I do, I don't have... I have one. <laughs> I don't think it matters much if I get hit by one of those fireballs. I think they're doing 50 damage. Yeah. Damn it! Okay, I, I don't remember every DSS combo. I know that there's one that increases defense, which is funny. I don't think my defense is too bad. Um, I want to say it's Venus. Yeah, I increase my def that increases my defense by eighty. 80 points, so that might be a little bit of damage off. Now, granted, I won't have the uh, Rose Whip to kind of, uh, you know, circumvent having uh, some extra damage, but I think I can just uh, chunk crosses at it and get the, or not cross, yeah, I'm surprised I'm not using crosses, I can chunk axes at it. I just have to be a little bit more dodgy when it comes to the fireballs. Try to try to conserve my health as much as possible. See, it's not so bad when I remember exactly what he does. <laughs> well, I definitely, I think that took like 10 points of damage off. So I think it was doing 40 as opposed to... Any damage off is, is better damage. Yeah, I better commit to going this way. I was going to turn around and go the other way, but it's probably better I committed to one direction. Yeah, I apologize. It's been a minute since I've been doing episodes. I've just been putting them off. Um, not intentionally. Like, you know, it's not like, you know, require a break or anything like that, but I was kind of overloading the channel with content. I was trying to, you know, uh, believe I my, my main goal, my plan, uh, was to have five episodes up every day um, to kind of get through playthroughs a lot quicker because I know some are going to carry on longer than others. Um, hopefully that's not the... Uh, hopefully here soon, um, 
I do know Mega Man 8 will be wrapping up here soon. Um, probably the longest one that might take me a little bit longer will be um, Zelda. I mean, I'm kind of... I believe it took me about, like, 12 episodes to get through Circle of the Moon the last time I, I did this on another channel. Um, a now defunct channel that I no longer have any um, wishes to continue. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I've never liked this boss. This boss has always kind of been a, a pain in the ass for me. Okay, so we break those. Yeah, we don't get a relic this time around. But we break those, and now we can enter all the areas that they, uh, those uh, sarcophagus things, the Iron Maidens, uh, were blocking off. Damn. Who asked you for help? I couldn't just leave you, could I? Don't think that you defeated it. It was the power of that whip. Hugh. You could never beat me in training. Never once. But Father named you, su uh, named you the successor and gave you the hunter whip. Your parents and my father banished Dracula together, and those fond memories clouded his judgment. Don't forget that. It really is a shame. I, I brought this up in another episode, but they were supposed to add in a mode where you were able to play as Hugh. Um, it's a shame that that never made the final cut of the game. I would have loved to see it. It would have been definitely an interesting way to play the game, considering uh, Hugh doesn't use a whip, he uses a sword. and um, I don't know if he has the, uh, uh, the same ability, the, the DSS. I don't know if he can, if he can do that. Oh, there is a... I think if I remember right, um, there's a Mugen engine game creation uh, called the Castlevania Fighter. I want to say he's a playable character in that. What's really neat about that project and something that always has my admir admiration for it, it uh, actually has um, custom sprites. Uh, everything was built uh, by... Uh, like, I think there were some assets used from you know, some of the, the Castlevanias that are present, but a lot of the, uh, uh, a good portion of sprites and stuff were actually made, uh, from scratch. They weren't, they weren't ported from, uh, other games like, uh, like Hugh and Nathan have, like, an HD sprite. Um, they, he didn't just compile all the sprites from, like, gold or, like, the actual source material and use that. It's a, it's a pretty cool thing, so if you have, uh, if you ever get a chance, definitely look it up. It's just called the Castlevania Fighter. Um, it's free to download. Uh, it has a crap ton of characters. It's definitely a, uh, it's definitely an interesting game. It's, it's not your typical, uh, fighter. I can definitely say that. It's a fighter within the confines of a fighter if it ran from a Castlevania system, if that makes sense. Um, in that regard, it's actually fairly accurate to, um, like, just the Castlevania system in, in general, but it also kind of makes it, um, sort of a unique experience, if you will. I'm gonna actually have to go re-download it, because I, I think the, uh, file I had for it got corroded. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to go re-download it. Uh, get the most recent version. <sighs> Damn, curse. Okay, so, um, this is the long, uh, haul back. I don't know, um, you know, I, I like to keep these episodes consistent about, eight, you know, 18, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, no, there's new. I think there's new enemies. I don't think the Thunder Armor was there before. Yeah, this is this is uh, one of the interesting Castlevanias because as you progress, um, enemies start becoming more deadly as you progress. So enemies that you you normally didn't see before are actually um, start showing up in in places throughout the castle. 
gets kind of crazy late game because a lot of the stuff in the abyss hallway um, start changing and they, they become uh, more deadly enemies. So instead of your axe armors and your skeletons, you get like, you know, uh, succubuses and stuff like showing up. Ooh, ooh, hard. I'm gonna go ahead and go back and save it since I'm right there. I just don't want to risk it that I that I leave and die and you know only to lose that card because again those those card drops are not are not frequent. Yeah, it's pretty much just a long trek back, which is unfortunate. I don't remember if that's the way you enter or not. I want to say it comes from that end. I do have intentions to do the other um, Game Boy Castle, Game Boy Advance Castlevania games. I don't know if I'll go back to the the Game Boy ones. Um, that might be fun. Um, to this day, I still actually haven't beaten those games. They they are pretty damn good games. I mean, granted, like I I don't really have to be avoiding all these enemies. I mean, I probably could fight some of them. It's just it's more of a pain in the butt than you think. And just kind of becomes a little tedious. I want to say that you come in from this end. I definitely need to be hitting those candles and uh, refilling my heart supply as much as I can. Because uh, if I recall, the next boss I'm going to definitely be spamming sub weapon a lot. If I recall what the next boss is, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Let's see, this is the one we come from. Yeah. Alright. Underground gallery. Yeah, this is the uh, next area the game has to offer. Um, I actually did not know about this area. So, um, the first time I ever played this game. So, I, I went to a completely different area, which is now accessible. You can go to it, but it sure is hell of a, a lot harder if, if you attempt that area, um, as opposed to, to this area. I know there's a save point somewhere. I want to make sure I hit that save point just so, um, in case I do die, because... I don't think I can get up there, actually. Okay, so we come up here. Put that. I remember that being way more of a pain in the ass the first couple times I tried doing it. I think that's with everything, though. I think, uh, you know, game progression and, you know, just proudness comes as you play the game. I mean, yeah, going into any game first time playing, you're not gonna be, you know, master at it. At least I wouldn't think. I mean, you could totally play it off like. Oh, I don't know how to play this game at all, and, you know, be a total asshole, and, and play it off like, yeah, you don't know how to play the game, but then you just, like, school everybody in it, because, yeah, that's, like, your favorite game ever. <laughs> Is hustling still a thing? Does that still exist? I think that's what I was getting at with that statement. You could you could totally hustle, I guess. Gaming, but, you know. I can't remember what the save point is. I'm almost positive there is one. Somewhere very oh there it is. 
couldn't remember if it was up or, up or down. Okay, yeah, so th this is getting back into the recording segment of where I'm not going to hit the boss every single episode. Um, so more than likely, the boss will take precedence on the next episode. Uh, the boss for this area specifically. Yeah, and it would be nice if I could find the fucking cross-up weapon. Um, I definitely am gonna need that somewhere down the line. I, I like to try to change it up every now and then. The, the cross just happens to be, like, the most powerful sub-weapon. Not only is the is the cross powerful, but it hits multiple times. It hits more times than the axe or you know any other any other sub weapon does, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I just remember coming to this area um, when you uh, when you're playing the other modes. It's just way way harder. I can't remember which ways go to the boss and which ways go to quote unquote secret. I'm gonna try to make it back to the save point because I did kind of take a beating. Poison. Yeah, shit. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Definitely not good. Oh, fuck. I mean, it wasn't like I was super far. I didn't think poison could actually kill you. Oh, oh well. Well, I'll go ahead. Um, you know, I'll I'll go ahead and end it here. If I go any further, I'll just uh, you know, I'll get carried away and I'll probably go over time. So I'll go ahead and end this portion here. Man, I'm just I'm just you know off my game today. I freaking died twice. Um, yeah, but again with like the boss, I don't always remember the boss patterns. So yeah, as soon as I remember like what you have to do to dodge it and everything like that, it became a lot easier. But uh, anyways, guys. Um, I'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, hopefully episode six and beyond will be up sooner than this episode came up, but, uh, you know, we'll just have to wait and see how things goes. Anyways, guys, this has been Daybreaker Rain and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys.